What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ramsar here, and today I bring you my first anime death battle for J Star's Victory vs. Plus. Now, to those who've been around for my channel for a long time, back when J Star's first came out in Japan a year ago, I used to pit characters against each other and then give my own personal thoughts of who I think would win. Now, these videos are for pure fun, they're not facts, they're not meant to start a fan wars. I know there's a lot of people who are passionate in this community, and if I side with one character, it might make you angry. But remember, this whole video is meant to be fun, and I want you guys to participate. So if you were offended that your character loses, uh, in my opinion, I want to know why you think he would win, or she would win, and vice versa. I want you guys to participate and just have fun with this. Try not to kill each other. Again, we're all friends here, we're all big anime family, so just have fun with this video. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I feel like Luffy would win this fight. And there's many reasons why. Uh, for starters, I feel like I don't think Naruto has the ability to really hurt Luffy in a, in a way that's going to knock him out. Uh, for starters, his body. Luffy's body is very durable since he ate the gum gum fruit. He can take a lot of hits. If you guys read the manga or watch the anime, we've seen Luffy take the most ridiculous amount of hits and still stand up. That, the, the abil because his body is built that way, he is pretty much uh, a walking tank. But also, we see a lot of uh, abilities get introduced in his character, and I'm going to try to avoid heavy spoilers. There's going to be small spoilers in case you're catching up, but I'm not going into full details. Like, for example, I'm going to talk about 4th gear, but I'm not actually going to talk about 4th gear, if that makes sense. Like, we know 4th gear exists, but I'm not going to actually go into details of what he does with 4th gear, because, again, I don't want to completely ruin it. Same thing goes with Naruto. I don't want to, you know, go into details of what happens in Naruto the Last, but if you watched it, you know exactly what happens in Naruto the Last. So I'm going to kind of uh, reference small spoilers like that. Now... Speaking of uh, of uh, Luffy, fourth gear. <laughs> uh, if you guys read the last couple chapters, fourth gear is freaking amazing, and I feel like if he really busts out fourth gear like that against Luffy, uh, Luffy uh, against Naruto, I think that's going to give him just a little oomph needed to win. Uh, and on top of that, you know, going back to the whole defense thing I was saying a couple seconds ago, because that's originally what I was kind of focusing around first, and I got distracted. Uh, not only is his body durable, but he can even make it even more durable when he introduces the hockey behind him. Because of all these defensive abilities that he can also flip into offense, I feel like Luffy is going to have the ultimate uh, advantage in the fight, fight against Naruto. But honestly, after putting so much thought into this fight, the thing that really made me choose Luffy over Naruto that, uh, the most was his uh, incredible determination. His amazing determination. What I noticed is, is a lot of these shown in animes, they always have a, a characteristic of value that the main character is kind of like uh, focused around. So for example, Goku has the ability to always overcome. He's always determined. He always like, comes out to victory. He always, he always pushes himself to get to the next level. Uh, with Luffy, what I noticed is he has the determination where it's like, there's nothing that I can't do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go out there tomorrow morning. I'm going to go get a Chipotle burrito. I'm going to come back and play video games. I'm going to do this. Like, he has that mentality, which I know is a kind of weird reference to use. But he has this mentality where it's like he has a decision. When he sees something, he's going to go after it and he's going to go for it. With Naruto, even though Naruto has the same determination, because we did see him um, want to be Hokage, and he ultimately does become Hokage later, uh, Naruto doesn't have the same level of determination that I saw in Luffy. Honestly, Luffy and Goku, to me, have probably the same level of determination of, if they see something, they're going to make it happen. Where Goku is actually more focused around uh, pushing himself over and over and over again and never stopping, never like accepting his limit. Uh, Luffy is more about, you know what? I'm doing it. It's happening. You know what? You're going to be my Nakama. You're going to be my uh, crew. You're going to be my friends. You're going to join my uh, team. You're going to become part of my squad. You're going to do this. Like, like Luffy just sees something and he goes for it. And that's ultimately what uh, makes me choose Luffy or Naruto in this fight. Now, they both have an incredible amount of attacks. Amazing attacks. I mean, I don't have to go into details with Naruto with... Uh, how much we see his character develop over time from when he uh, was first revealed to have uh, Kurama inside him to when he actually uh, links with him and then even becomes a, the sage of the sixth path. Like, Naruto becomes freaking amazing. Like, they have amazing attacks, but ultimately, I'm choosing Luffy in this fight uh, because of his defensive capabilities, his ability to use offense and defense at the same time, and on top of that, the determination that's just going to make him not give up. Now, I don't think Naruto or Luffy would kill each other. I'm just going to point that out because I feel like they're, they're good guys. They're never going to kill each other. But, you know, if, if we have to choose a fight where one person gets knocked out, I feel like Luffy is going to be the one who stands up at the end. If the dude is one attack that knocks them both out, Luffy is going to be the one that stands up at the end of that fight, looks down and says, good fight, bro. Good fight. So... That's why I'm sticking with Luffy. Now, I want to know from you guys, again, this is not meant to start any fan wars. This is purely for fun. I did a lot of these videos back uh, when JSS first came out, and I'm going to do a lot more. And I'm never going to do, like, crazy matchups. Like, hey, Goku, go fight Kirby or B 
Beerus go fight Super Mario. Like, every time I choose characters in these uh, anime death battles, I'm always going to choose ones that I feel like should be in the same realm. So, like, Gon and Yusuke, probably, Hiei and Kilua, stuff like that. So, what I want to know is this, who, who from the J-Stars world, or the Shonen world, you want to see me, uh, you know, have a death battle with next? Let me know in the comment section below. And, again, I want you guys to participate as well, because, again, these videos are a lot of fun to me. Uh, they were a lot of fun in the past, and I plan on having a lot more fun in the future. Again, purely for fun, not to meant to start any fan wars, because I know we get really passionate. I know when people mention Goku, I get behind Goku fully and support him no matter who he's facing against. <coughs> Superman. Uh, but not nah, for real. Uh, this is just a lot of fun, so let me know your thoughts who you think would win between Naruto and Luffy, and don't forget to say why. And also, um... If you've only watched one anime or read one of the mangas and not the other one, I kind of I, I kind of suggest that you check out the other character as well. I don't want you to just kind of pick that one character that you think would win just because you know more about that character than the other one. Because um, up until uh, a couple months ago, I had no clue of anything about Luffy. Actually, I feel like I did this video before in the past, but never actually really knew much about Luffy, and I probably picked Naruto in the past. And now here I'm picking Luffy. So what I want to ask you guys is if you uh, listen to this debate, kind of take some time out to figure out uh, some information about the other characters first, and then, and then really think about, really think about who you want to win, uh, who you want to pick in the fight that, you know, I present, or that you guys want me to present, so yeah. So again, overall, between Luffy and Naruto, as amazing as both these characters are, as crazy as they develop, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Luffy as the victor, and ultimately, it just comes down to the fact that he has amazing durability, his arm and uh, his hockey abilities are just really powerful, both from the offense and defense perspective, and on top of that, he has the determination to make it. He's going to do it. He's going to get in this match. He's going to win the fight, and he's going to come out the victor in the end. That's who Luffy is, and that's why I choose him as the victor in this anime death battle. So yeah, again, no problem with Naruto. He has the same determination. We, like I said, we saw him go from little kid uh, who was basically causing much mischief to wanting to become Hokage to becoming Hokage. But ultimately, I feel like in the end, it just Luffy's determination is higher than his, and even though they both have crazy powers, you know, Luffy's gonna be the one who stands up to the end. He's going to be the one who stands up, and I'm sticking with it. So, yeah. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick anime death battle. Uh, if you guys wanna see more of these, hit that like button. Let me know which characters you want me to see uh, matched up next, and I should make it happen. Again, don't kill each other, because I know how you guys get sometimes. You guys get really passionate. Don't kill each other. You guys are friends. Everybody here is friends. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll take it from there. My name is Ramsal. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see all your awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.